My response to Graham Tomlinson's interview, you can eat what you want and still lose weight. Rob out here perform and another interesting video to break down today. Guys, Graham Thompson, known as the fitness chef on Instagram, uh, has a huge following. He done an interview with This Morning and they discussed how to lose weight, basically. And you can eat what you want and still lose weight. Okay, well, let's break this down and give my opinion. So a calorie deficit, when you consume fewer calories than you, than you use per day. It's the only scientific way that you can lose weight. 110% correct, okay? No matter the diet, it requires a calorie deficit. And he does state this in the interview, okay? He does discuss that no matter the diet that you choose, all right, it will require a calorie deficit. So you will need to be consuming less food than what your body expends to lose weight. And there's actually a really interesting review and they looked at several popular diets and they state a very good point. It's fundamental to adopt a diet that creates a negative energy balance that is focused on adequate food quality to promote health. So I'll link that study in the description if you're going to check that out. So a calorie deficit, 110% correct. Um, but basically you can eat what you like and still lose weight. Yes, unfortunately he's not wrong, okay? You can still eat what you want, okay? As long as you're in a calorie deficit, you will lose weight. But the question we need to ask ourselves is, should we do that? And the answer is no, we shouldn't do that, okay? I've, have you ever heard of the word moderation, okay? Moderation with some foods, all right? So what I'm trying to say is that if you're consuming, your, full, your whole diet's consumed of processed and unhealthy foods, okay? You're not gonna be getting the minerals, okay? And the nutrients that you need to promote health and longevity. All right, so it's important to have foods, all right, that are nutritious and that can help you promote better health in the long run, all right? But this doesn't mean that you can't enjoy these foods, all right? So moderation with anything, guys. If you're in a calorie deficit, yes, unfortunately, you can eat what you want and still lose weight as long as that calorie deficit is applied, all right? But it doesn't mean that you should do that. So obviously, the less you move, the less you can eat balance of energy yes generally if you're less active you tend to need less food but it's also important to note that when you're in a calorie deficit all right and you start to restrict calories you may feel more tired maybe more lazy you might be a little bit more lazy you might not be as active all right it's because the body tries to preserve its energy all right it's like a car all right if you don't fuel the car up to what it normally would all right it won't go as far all right because it'll run out of fuel you get in my drift as you see, they are comparing and he's giving opinions on healthy and unhealthy foods. And to be honest, the options of these healthy foods are pretty poor examples in my opinion. You could have given more nutrient dense foods, more filling foods, more foods with more of a quantity, right? And even less calories. And then it could have even been a better option than the unhealthy food, right? Eating foods with uh, less quantity, right? Less fiber and protein, will tend to have a lower thermic effect than a whole foods, okay? And I will reference a study down below if you're going to check that out, all right? But these whole foods generally tend to be more filling, okay? They tend to fill you up more, which is good if we're trying to sustain a calorie deficit because we want foods that are gonna fill us up, all right? The processed foods are not going to fill you up in the long run. So it's gonna be harder to sustain a calorie deficit. Really could have given better examples in this interview, but I guess what you define as healthy and unhealthy is really based on your own opinion. My question is, can you sustain healthy eating behaviors during your calorie deficit, during your weight loss plan? I mean, we need to have good eating behaviors because if we don't, we're gonna eat more food. Sarah, our doctor Sarah says, if your only aim is to lose weight, then you can follow Graham's plan, where physical health and mortality rates are concerned with the quality of the food you put into your body. <laughs> yes, do you know what, he's nodding his head, because he knows, he knows that you just can't eat loads of crappy food. He knows, he's trying to sell his book, isn't he? He is trying to sell his book. Come on, he's trying to make a living. There's nothing wrong with doing that. He wants to make a living, everyone does it. I mean, but you still shouldn't eat loads of unhealthy foods in your diet though. Body is just as important as the quantity and this plan is not sustainable long-term. No, it's not sustainable long-term. As we know, health is important. 
My point is demonise these so-called unhealthy foods so they can find a place for them. Yes, yes I agree, I do agree. There is a place for them in your diet. If we have one processed meal, all right, but we meet our macro and micronutrient intakes and we hit our calorie intakes based on what our goals are, that one meal is not going to harm you, okay? It's not, okay? So we cannot base our nutrition off one meal, guys, okay? Now, I know on his Instagram, he does do a lot of comparisons between healthy and unhealthy options. When it comes to that, guys, is that you need to take in your overall calorie intake for the day, all right? And have you hit your macro and micro and calorie targets? Because they're important, guys. And you wanna know what really ticks me off? Really ticks me off. It's just people out there that make people worry over the simplest, littlest things that in the long term, or even in the short term, not, not, not even in the short term, it's gonna do jack shit to their health. Why are we doing that? Why are people doing that? It's just, ah, uh, it drives me mad. I like to use the word moderation, guys, all right? You can have a, a whole diet contained of unhealthy foods, but if you can't sustain that, then you can't sustain it. Some people can, some people can't. But then again, we can't have a whole diet contained of unhealthy foods, all right? Because in the long run, that's not gonna be good for our health because our health is important. So moderation is important. And whatever diet you choose to do, can you sustain healthy eating behaviors long term? All right? And stop with the worry crap. Why are we making people worry for over little things that are gonna do jack shit? Stop it. Stop it. Driving mad. Absolutely drives me mad. Anyway, uh, subscribe. I'm out. I'm done with this. Oh, and have a good week. See you later.